To me, the art of being a DJ is being able to express your authentic self through your music. Um, it's a place where you can just let go and be free. And Carl Cox said to me once, sometimes you'll make mistakes, but no one cares. It's the vibe, what people really care about is the vibe that you bring. And that was a valuable um, piece of advice to me, to not get so caught up in the little things, so yeah. There's been many of times where I've I thought, yeah, I want to do this, but I was in a, at an after party at my friend's house and he was on the turntables and I was just mesmerized by the songs that he was playing and how he made me feel. And I literally was like, I want to make people feel like this. This is so cool. How can I do this? So that's where it started. My first attempt at mixing was pretty unsuccessful. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was at the after party. Um, I asked him at the end if I, could, um, if I could jump on and have a go. And, do you know, I caught it quite quick. It probably took me about seven, eight times before I could actually beat match more than 10 seconds. first achievement I felt like a kid at Christmas being able to just put these tracks together I thought right this is it I can actually progress and do this and you just want to you want to try and try again and, and get it right and then that pushed me to then buy my own decks and then the rest is <laughs> here we are <laughs> I was actually quite fortunate because my first gig was for my friend's party and it was a, at Bar 512 in Dalston and um, I was doing a two hour warm up set and all my friends turned up. It was like a packed room, but the entire time I was playing, I literally was like this for two hours. But just the fact that all my friends were there, the cheering, the support, it just gave me a massive buzz and then I was just, give me the confidence for the next for the next gigs Well, it was nice to go from CDs to record box. That was lovely. <laughs> to be actually to able to be able to just like see and create folders and see a waveform and you know just have everything in front of you. That was cool for me. I think mixers have been a big change. Um, being able to adapt technically to the different features and sounds. I, I started on the Pioneer, then I went to an Allen and Heath, and then. <laughs> Sorry, cut. <laughs> but then the V10 came out 
and basically that was just taking all the favourite bits from both mixers that I enjoyed into one and now we have the V10 and that is, that's been my favourite so far. For me, preparation, um, I always come with a mixed bag because I feel that you have to be prepared for any situation that you're put in. A warm-up DJ, it's your responsibility to set the vibe and it, you have to be creative because sometimes it's not what it seems. With a headliner slot, I feel that everybody is there ready and waiting for what you can bring, so it's a lot more easier, but yeah, always come with a mixed bag and just be prepared for anything. Oh, DJs when I started, um, there was Maya Jane Coles, um, Teeny, um, Anthea, uh, Seb Zito. Those were all the guys that I looked up to. Dennis Ferreira, uh, they're all guys that I looked up when I first started. Um, now, I mean, I still love them all, but um, Benny Rodriguez is my favorite DJ, along with uh, Eats Everything. Uh, Honey Dijon and Scream. I think they just have a way of captivating the audience. They have a way of putting tracks together that you wouldn't even think to do. And the energy and their vibe that they create on a dance floor is just unmatched for me, so. <laughs> Do you know what? Being a black queer female, like all three, I can I've lost count of the amount of lineups and parties that I've played for where I am the only female, I am the only black person, I am the only queer person. Um, and with he, she, they, that is something that I will never find. Like you'll go into that party and it is diverse across the board. So the lineups are diverse, the dancers are diverse, which in turn makes the crowd diverse. And when you bring all of those together, it's just a beautiful thing. And that is what we need to see more of. Be your authentic self at all times. Keep shining your light. Do not dim to fit in. That is my motto, never dim to fit in. Um, there's a space for all of us. And I feel that, you know, the doors will keep closing. That's gonna happen. They're gonna keep closing, but you have to have that, that passion to just keep kicking them down until they stay open. So that is my advice.